Hi, welcome to the Master of Fast Seal Creator software guided tool video. In this video, we will go through the process of creating the machine code to make a seal and demonstrate all the features of the software. We have the configurations menu and the about. As you're seeing, here in the configurations menu, we have the languages. NC Processing, Standard Fast Seal 3 G Code, Standard FANUC, Standard Siemens, HAAS, MAZAC, and Custom Client Order are present in this version. And Directories, here we can change the base folder where the files generated by your program are going to be saved. You can save the files anywhere you like. This is very useful to keep the generated profiles organized by clients. This way you can keep track of all the work produced and save time because you are reusing your existing code. Here on the left side of this window we have the groups in which the profiles are organized and on the right we can see all the profiles that belong to the group that we have chosen. In this video we will demonstrate how to create a complex wiper seal that is composed of two different parts. Let's double click on the wipers group and then on the wiper we want. This is the basic window of the profile made of two components. These two components are two different profiles themselves that together make the seal. We have input boxes for the measures, the inside, the outside, the height. You can see the image depicting the seal profile. The two buttons are for selecting the part of the seal that we are creating, and you can see these guides that show how the dimensions relate to the profile. Let's click on one of the buttons of the profile. This is part one of the seal, but we will be making the other part just to show a more complex geometry. Let's close this profile and open the other one. Nominals is where we choose the profile dimensions, the material dimensions and the type. Here are the input boxes for the measures, the inside, the outside, the height. As we can see, we have two input fields for the measures of the material that is going to be used to make the seal, and one box where we can select a material type. We can also see right away the four tabs that are always present in a profile, nominals, variables, control, and code. Here we have all the materials possible to be machined. The material choice influences which machine tools are used for the job and the machine code. Let's click on the Variables tab. The program detects if there are any incoherences between the dimensions of the profile and the dimensions of the material, and further on it will detect for collisions and other abnormalities. The user can only complete the generation of the profile if there was no problem found. Let's change the material dimensions to some valid ones, and let's click again on the Variables tab. Variables is where we see and customize the calculated profile geometry given the user's input dimensions. Now we have the geometry of the profile. We can see that the profile's color in the variables tab relates to the material we chose in the previous tab. In the upper left, we have all these input fields for the variables that make the geometry of the profile, and to the right side of every input field is a minus and a plus button. This is a feature to edit quickly the value in the input field without having to type. And on the right, the profile's figure. It has guides and buttons to show how the variables relate with the profile. These buttons give focus to the corresponding variable input field. 
This way, you can always keep track of everything, even if the profile is very complex. You can see the geometry of the profile changing in real time when you edit the input fields, as we are demonstrating. After editing the geometry of the profile, if the user wants to revert back to the standard profile shape, just click on the default parameters button. The control tab displays control dimensions that are to be compared with the measures of the machined seal to check if the final geometry was machined as expected. Some factors influence the final product, such as the warping of the used material for example. This tab is an uneditable, simplified version of the Variables tab. Now for the Code tab. Code is to see which tools have to be loaded on the LATI and to edit, if needed, and save our generated code to make the part. On the left section of the tab, we have the tools that have to be loaded on the SEAL machine and featured on the code generated on the right. Here we can see the header of the file that has a lot of useful information for reference. Profile name, profile and material dimensions, material type, if the profile is standard or not, date of creation of the file, and the software version that created it. We can review or edit the code. A great feature is the code highlighting. The code is divided into logical blocks and by clicking on a tool, the program highlights the block of code that corresponds to that tool. Expert users can edit the code if they want to, for this allows greater flexibility. Although it is not really advisable or necessary to do so, because within the program the user already has the power to customize the part, without having to edit a single line of code. When we are all done, we click on the Create button to save this code file and to generate a suitable CNC through its CNC post processor. That modifies the code in accordance to the SEAL machine. We can save the file anywhere we like. Here, we like to have everything arranged by folders inside our root folder. When you need to repeat a job, you just have to open the CNC file with the CNC controller software. This allows you to save time. That's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed to watch.